<laughs> the fireworks? She's just coming out of everything. Oh, oh, and I didn't mean... I I'm sorry. She sniffles. I'm sorry, but who is IS2? You'll see soon. It's okay. It really hurts. Uh, I don't want to go too far on this route. I'm sorry, darling. I have to say ow. I'm... Uh, this... I can't do anything right, she says as she frowns. No, I didn't want to do this, but I have to if I want to get the IS2 route. Ta -da. Oh, dear. She regains her composure after a few moments. The fireworks are really pretty, though. Is 52 tons considered fat? I don't know. ta -da. Skylar Freedom! Thank you for the bits! IS2 knows all. IS2 sees all. I'm sorry, but I have to say ow. We're not going for her root. Oh dear. Ah, she blushes. You really like being with me? Uh, I wouldn't exactly phrase it like that, but yes, I like spending time with you. Thank you. <laughs> Came problem, Sean Smadel. Some German ought to impress her. Tiger One starts giggling. Oh, Erwin, it's Madel, but thank you anyway. All right. <laughs> Damn them lots. Being with you here, I just... Erwin. Hmm? She leans in closer to you. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Erwin, I was wondering if... But I fell for Tiger. I know she's so cute. I is to giveth and I is to taketh away. Maybe I could ki... Whoa, whoa, and then we all died. <laughs> oh. Protect the cinnamon roll. We can't change our plan now! Ah, uh, rain! My treads are going to get stuck in the mud up here, and then my transmission will jam, and I'll get striped, and it'll ruin my new arm- Tiger, Tiger, don't worry. Let's just get you inside, okay? Here, take my hand. Let's get back into town. Okay. She blushes as she takes your hand. My lemonade stand! <laughs> and then everyone died! You both start heading down the mountain. Zeus, I'm cool, man. <laughs> that was IS2 coming to get you. Girl, she controlled the weather. <laughs> After a good 15 minutes of walking, you reach the train station. Yeah, Maidel. Maidel, Maidel. Ah, oh, thank God. Well, at least my engine didn't stall out more than twice this time. Well, you really should take it slow. You can't try and maneuver like a little <laughs> Lex tractor. You're right, Erwin. Thanks for helping me get back, though. Don't worry about it. I'm glad I got to see the fireworks with you, even if they did get rained out before the finale. Save the lemonade! Well, maybe we should go again sometime, if you want... Ah, uh, my train is leaving! Bye, Erwin! Bye, darling. She dashes off toward the train, making it just inside before the doors close. Bye, Erwin! She shouts from the window as it pulls away. Isn't she sweet? Now see if you can date the train. Well, I'm gonna throw a phoenix down on it. I should probably be getting home too. Your way of the German is great. I'm sorry, it's really bad. My father's actually German. After a long trade ride home, you finally reach your station. The walk home is short, but after a long day, each step feels like a mile. Finally, you reach your apartment. Is I have two in here, I swear to fuck. Girl? Girl? The room is dark and the moonlight casts shadows on the wall. You sit down on the bed and lay your head on the pillow, shoes and everything still on. <laughs> your faja? My farger. Ah, uh, rest. Sleep. IS2 pops out. Ugh! Oh, what the hell? That didn't feel like sleep at all. God, at least I'm already dressed. Well, I try. As you rush down the hallway to the classroom, you begin muttering to yourself. Man, I overslept. Damn it, I'm gonna get chewed out again. Stupid long-ass trade ride home last night. Suddenly, Sherman pokes her head out from one of the doors behind you and shouts, I knew guy! Ice 2's on the ceiling. Good God, someone should make a horror game just involving her. You turn around to face her. Over here! Sherman, what are you doing in that classroom? We're both late as hell. Come on, Erwin, get in here! She waves you in. Oh, well, it's one of those sort of things. My lucky de- Blitzkrieg 101. As you enter the classroom, you can see all the tanks in their seats and the gunny standing at the front. Well, if it isn't recruit, Lemma here would like to join us. We could start. IS2 isn't everything. Everyone just draw IS2 peeking out of random things. 
She is so yandere. Sergeant, I... Recruit Lemma, I swear you couldn't navigate your way out of a map store. This recruit didn't know the classroom had been moved. You couldn't have guessed when you saw the old one was still a smoking hole. No one informed this recruit of the change drill, Sergeant. Tanks, you will give this maggot your phone number so that he may bother you instead of wasting my precious time, he sighs. Ah, senpai, here's my number, Erwin. Send me a text so I can add you. Uh, sure. You send her a quick It's Erwin message. Awesome, I added you to our group chat. Wait, what? Oh, no. Sherman, I don't... Oh, dear. Wanna be in the... Uh! God damn it, Sherman. Sergeant, why do I have to give him my number? You're a commie tank recruit 34. Aren't you supposed to love sharing? Dude, that's rude. Ugh, bitch. All right, Herr Erwin. Uh, thank you. I promise I won't misuse it. You'd better not. I get touchy with phone lines. You never know who's listening in. Right. You too, recruit Tiger. Uh, Sergeant, shouldn't Erwin give me his number too? If that makes this go faster, recruit, let me give Tiger your number. Is there anything he doesn't scream about? Here, Tiger, I'm at 985-655-2500. Yes, she whispers softly. <sighs> Alright, so I guess I need... Your number two, Panzer IV? Sonderkraftenhausen Panzerkampfwagen 4 aus F. Recruit for your phone number, not your designation. Oh, right. Here you go, Erwin. Ha, ah, great. I'll call you if I have any questions. Very good, recruits. Lemmer, I expect you to be on time prepared for everything from this moment forward. You are very lucky I had a relaxing day yesterday, so I will spare your ass just this once. Call all these numbers. Don't do it. However, you will be providing each and every one of your classmates with ten knee bends each now. Damn. Ew. Exercise. Well, I don't think so. A few hours later. Oh, man, that was a killer test. I'm bushed. Oh, my God. <laughs> we need shoes music. Do, 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 do. Hang on. Is that, is that copyrighted? I can never tell. I don't think it is. One moment. Here it comes. I think. <laughs> I'm doing it. I, I fucking hope you can hear this. Oh, man. Odoin! <laughs> oh. Do not combine she with ice, too, I beg of you. What? Don't pop out of nowhere like that. Erwin, I have a question for you. Um, okay. What is it, Rip Vod? I think this is okay. Uh, sure, go ahead. Well... Tovarish, you must think long and hard about this coming question. It's a matter of state security. What? Uh, um, like what? State security? Da. Tada. Tada. Skylar Freedom for appropriate musical choices. Thank you, darling. There we go. Let's fix this so you can actually see your name. Uh. Do not be of the worrying. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. Not- not yet. Oh, we're fucked. We're dead. We are absolutely dead. <laughs> Save. I'm saving. I'm afraid. Question is easy in of the self. Answer, not so much. What? Are you a genius? Okay. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Do not be of the worrying. Now I ask question. Are you prepared? Yeah, sure. All right. What did you get on question 42? What? What in the world? I, I don't remember IS2. Don't withhold information from me. 
Hoarding information, that is the way the capitalist czarist pig. They steal information from the people, use it for their own gains. Stealing is not the Soviet way, comrade. I'm not hoarding, stealing anything. I just don't remember. Oh dear. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Um. I'm scared. Uh, oh. We have ways to make people remember. Rip. Well, just stab me in the face. Fucking run! <laughs> Jesus, we're dead. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, fine, it's... God, what the hell? Fuck this shit. Do not be of the worrying. Hide your ass! <laughs> what did we... Uh, I... What... What do I pick? I don't know what to do. Help! <laughs> She's a fucking Terminator! Oh my god. What are we- Top left? The Treaty of Versailles. Must be that, right? The answer is 42. I need scissors. 61. The treaty? The treaty. Boy, vote for apples. I don't- Apples is gonna get us fucking killed. St. Petersburg! Pick the right answer, don't lie to her. Da! Very good, I got the same answer. Fucking hell's bells. This is giving me anxiety. <laughs> Do not be of the worry. <laughs> right, well... Oh, it's Versailles. Right, I keep getting that wrong. Have a nice day, comrade! Das Vidanya, you crazy kook. What a nut. I'm going home. Jesus. Good God, finally I'm home. Whew. Oh man, tomorrow's Saturday too. I can't wait. God, I have the entire day to myself. All for... Ugh, me. Yeah, we'll see about this. Do not be of the worry. Good God. Morning, this is gonna be awesome. No tanks. No gunny. No weird shit. There are so many things I can accomplish. That's what I say every day and it never works out for me. I'm gonna open the curtains and greet the day. Hello, son. Ah, what to do today? Hmm. Uh, hello? We have nothing to do, do we? Oh, no! Erwin! Erwin, you're just staring out the window, bro. Erwin, you're wasting the day. Oh, my God. I have done this so many times. I'm gonna do a million things, sit my ass down on the couch with my phone, and start reading Reddit. And guess what happened? Boom! Five hours later. Shit! <laughs> That's it. I'm calling someone. With my yellow rotary Mr. Rogers phone. Who do I call, though? Well, I think we know. Should I go on a break before we do this? Because it's almost time for a break. Is that okay? I'm gonna do it. It'll be a quick break. I need to go refresh my tea. This phone. Y'all, if you know how to use this phone, raise your hand in the chat. I do. My god, we're gonna call IS2 for sure. Alright, BRB. Get something and then we're gonna go on this date. This date is happening. Be right back.
Chicken wings! Alright, okay, 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 serious talk though, for those that heard the Skype thing, the, the thingy bob, John, are you in the chat right now? John, can you hear me? I sent you a very important Skype. Please come up here, I need help. <laughs> you guys, oh fucking help. I went to the bathroom real quick, and then I, I sat down, and everything was innocent, and then I looked above the door frame, and there was huge black fucking... Spider. Really? John, if you're here, please help. What? What am I doing? It's in the bathroom. <laughs> please kill it. It's over the door frame. I can't burn it. Burn the fucking bathroom. Oh fuck. It's up in there. I can't reach. Oh, that is a big guy. <laughs> help. Fucking help. I am such a baby about this crap. It's huge. John, please avenge me. Avenge you? What did it do? Well, he helped me pee a lot faster because I was scared. But get rid of him. Yeah, he's a big guy. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you get him? Yeah. Oh, God. Please flesh him. Burn him and flesh him and then throw the salt in the sea. Salt his body so he doesn't come back. <gasps> My hero. <laughs> there you go. Nike. There's a good ass audio for your stream. <laughs> Did you just flush the toilet with the door open? Yeah. Now everyone can hear my toilet. I don't care though. As you long called as... me up to kill a spider in the middle of your stream. I, I thought something was actually wrong. <laughs> I can't sit here with the spider in the same room. I'm like, oh shit, like is the cat there? And then I realized the cat was behind my computer. So I'm like, Did you see the size of it? It is it was actually a big spider. How could I have sat here knowing that he was right there? <laughs> oh my god, that's like Tim's stream, they said. Thank you, you're my hero. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Oh, valiant person. Okay, I can rest now. <laughs> oh my god. I can't deal with spiders, you guys. I can't get flushed on. <laughs> the muffin is dead. Hello, G. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, we're back with phone. I called the Flintstones phone. Oh. Okay. Alright, I'm okay now. Let's call IS2. Not as creepy as a spider. The spider was IS2. It probably was. Man. Alright. Let's do this. Well, I guess I could- Oh god, what am I doing? The best thing ever, Erwin. As you reach down to pick up the phone- I had a sub while I was gone? Not Reptar! 
Yo, thank you for seven. I appreciate you, Reptars. Great. Uh, hello? Erwin! Oh, hey, IS2. I was just about to call you. Wait, did she just call me? As I was picking up the phone? What? Does she have a camera in here or some shit? Oh, how convenient. <laughs> IS2, were you that spider? You can tell me. You know, your blinds don't match your bedspread at all. What? Oh, as, um, I'm done. Oh, fuck. IS2 is the phone! <laughs> the whole building is bugged, literally. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about changing the- Wait, what? Oh, I have a great idea. Why don't we go on a date? Oh, my God. Uh, well, I guess it's not like I have anything else to do. Sure, I'll call you tomorrow. See you in two minutes. The phone goes click as she hangs up. Lord of mercy. No, she's gonna show up in this black ass room and fucking scare me. God, that girl. Open up, KGB. Pfft, what the? You open the door. Are you ready for our date? Girl, what the? You were outside the fucking door in the hallway. She's on the roof. <laughs> oh no. She's a tank and a phone. Transformer confirmed. I is too. It's like 11 at night. Can't we go? Exactly. The train there leaves in a few minutes, so let's hurry. Where the hell are we even going? It's... She says she leans in closer to you. A surprise. <gasps> Dude. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm legit scared of this woman. Oh my word. The call is coming from inside the house. I would definitely open my door for the KGB. I don't know about you. You did. Girl, you did. Soviet love hotel. I fucking hope so. She's the fucking Terminator. Sarah Connor. Jesus, don't do that. Well, hurry up then. We don't want to miss the train. We chose this fate. This is... We're dead. We did. We're taking the train straight to my pants. After a long life sitting in the cold metallic seats of the Interregion Express train, you begin to near your destination. I hope wherever IS2 is taking me is worth it. My ass has been asleep for so long, I think it's in a coma. Psh, girl, if I had a dollar. For every time I said that shit. Christ, IS2, we've been on this train for hours. Where the hell are we going? I told you it was a surprise, silly. It, it must be one in the morning by now. But it's not like you could run from me now, so I'll tell you. It's a place that is sacred to me and my homeland. What would be sacred to Russia in Japan? Where are we going? Or a memorial for it, anyway. We're going to the motherland? Can you get there by train from Japan? I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to the Kremlin. To Siberia! At that moment, the train comes to a rest, and as the doors open, you see it. We're not in Hiroshima, are we? <laughs> da, 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 da. It's supposed to be like 2 a.m. Why is the sun out? Ta da! Oh my god, this will be the best time for a bit. Ta <laughs> God! Blah, 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 blah. Welcome to Stalingrad Square, resort and casino, Japan. Oh my god. Is this real? If it is, I'm going. No, I'm going to Japan Chicken to see wags. this. Chicken like ice says, hey girl, 31 month check-in, girl. Oh, here I come. ta -da. Chilled like ice, thank you. Armageddon cancer with the bits. ta -da. <laughs> Here it is. Thank you so much. The sun always shines on the motherland, comrade. It does. I don't even know what to say. Well, come on. Don't just stand there. Let's go in. Oh, my word. You go up the steps, and once you crest the top, you can see a large statue in the distance. Ah, oh, the mommy of Kurgan. How I miss it so. Ah, oh, Niat, Niat. I'm getting a bit emotional here. No, Tavarish? They didn't even get the scale right anyway. 
Huh? The statue. It's far bigger in Russia. I've seen bigger. How much bigger? Wait, how much bigger is it? It's huge! One of the biggest I've ever seen. <clears throat> if I had a dollar. Twitch ate your bits? No, Twitch, why do you do these things? Minerva, thank you so much for trying. I'm sure it went through. It's just probably the, the thing didn't go through. I mean, whenever I see something so magnificent, I get this feeling. Feeling? Inside. Deep inside. It's, oh. Uh, oh. Mm-hmm. Girl, I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Is it bigger than my dick? <laughs> it's so stupid. A longing. Oh. Okay. For? Taco Bell. That's what my longing's for. No? Okay, fine. You know, Erwin, every time I come here, there's only one thing on my mind. Uh, potatoes? Fuck if I know. That's a Russia thing, right? Bears? I guess statues get her randy? Oh. <sighs> that the blood spilled by my friends and comrades will not have been shed in vain. Oh. That's exactly what I thought as well. Good God. Chibi House, run for your life. Or CLB House, sorry. I thought your name said Chibi, my fault. Oh my goodness. We shall return a glorious motherland and the... Bitch bourgeois, or bourgeois, I think is how you say it, will burn in their opulent palaces. Yeah, bourgeois. Not one step back. What the hell? Are we on a date still? Are we still going out? You know, you could pick up the place if you're expecting someone. When I first got to the front, I told my puppy I was eating tigers, panthers, and elephants. He asked me if I was enjoying the Berlin Zoo. Ha, <laughs> that's funny, I is too. I never did see the zoo. Maybe you should take me there. Don't stick your dick in crazy. That's absolutely correct. Oh, man. She wants to avenge the motherland. I knew it! And we can see how animals do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's exactly why I go to the zoo. Except they never are. What? I bet you'd be a fox. And what would you be? A lynx. They eat foxes. God, you're making this really weird. Come on, there's more I want you to see. Well. Oh, hello, shirtless man. Ta-da, my countryman. Oh, here's another, here's another chance for anyone that has any leftover. You don't have to, though, don't worry. Ta-da, Elio, what up, girl? Is that a pun about his grandfather? Probably. A desert fox. Exactly. You guys got it. Yeah. Well, that's a little more well-fed than I thought Ta -da. the average Soviet injury feminine looked. Oh, that's cold, Erwin. Armageddon Council, you are the best. <laughs> Holy shit. If you think that's great, we even have giant iron cross made out of captured iron crosses. Whoa, that's a lot of death. Eh, in Berlin, they were, like, so common. They were basically handing them out to anyone wearing a helmet. Elio Drago, thank you so much for the 10 bits, too. So the ones in the cross, they're from Berlin? Yet, Papa had me pick them off the dead for that one. Oh, my God. I like it like that. I feel it's a good show of my artistic capabilities. Um. Wait, you're an artist? Did you make all this stuff here? One does not make art. It flows out of the soul. It's my life work. My muse. I see. Your muse is an iron cross made out of looted war medals? Well, my muse is a fickle bitch. Uh. Uh, Erwin, I'm just so happy you called. You called me. All the same, Tavarish. And it was just the perfect timing. I'm sad this place is so crowded, though. I know we'd love some privacy. <laughs> Y'all, she cray. This is the most romantic date I've ever had. Kita, it's absolutely true. I mean, I haven't gotten arrested yet, so it's ten times better than most of my dates. So what is there to do here anyway? Do we just walk around? I mean, there are <laughs> some good bars around here, too. Like Pavlov's house. Really? AGRs, thank you so much. Hoping to time it to the game. Ta-da. 
After that train trip, I could use a drink. Well, here, I'll be right back with something strong. Uh-huh. As she goes into the bar, you see a familiar face bobbing through the side streets. She glances over, then does a double take as she recognizes you. Is it T-34? What? What the fuck are you doing here? We had to take a train two hours and some to get here. Why is she always cock-blocking me, even with the crazies? God damn it, Sherman. Erwin! Hey, Sherman, fancy seeing you here. Oh my god, if IS-2 sees me talking to her, I'm gonna be dead. Fucking dead. Tell me about it. Oh my god, she'll like actually scared me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the $10. I have no idea what the fuck is going on here. I came for the tea ads, but I got Bushka instead. Whatevs, I'm keeping my watch and hopefully figuring this out. Tell me about it. I fell asleep on the train to Nagasaki. I've never actually bought a ticket. Oops. Oh, bummer. So I'm laying low for a bit until the next train. See if I can't tag along. My lack of surprise is total. Every time Sherman comes up, there's a banjo. I know. Did we get raided? No, this happens all the time. What are you doing here? I mean, aside from talking to me, of course. No, we are not ditching IS2. We're going to stay with her. I will be a dead man if we do that. Oh my god. Are we sure it's not Sherman that's bugging your phone? At this point, I don't even know. Quick, now's your chance. Run. We can't ditch her. We have to go through with this. I'm here with someone. Oh, hanging out with Tichan? This place is right up her alley. Yeah, you know, it just dawned on me that the uh, these girls, like, never mention IS-2 and they never hang out with her. Uh, no. Huh? I'm on a date, Sherman. Oh. With who? Ta-da! Uh, with IS-2, Elio Drago. Thank you so much, darling girl. Bob thanks you, too. Thank you for the bits. The bits. Really? A date? Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Oh, God, Erwin. Oh, man. Well, as I always say, don't stick your barrel in crazy. Oh, shit. Everyone knows. Everyone knows she's nuts. No, I don't think they're going to go for the ghost route. That's so fucking... That's so normal. Avon Drago. Come on, Sherman. Oh, man, you have fun, Erwin. You have fun, she calls out as she walks off, still laughing. Oh, my God, she said it. Girl knows. We're fucked. You continue waiting for IS-2 and begin to study the statue. Even if, if Sherman says we fucked up, you know we fucked up bad. Why did they put so much detail into the gun but not even finish the man? And why the hell isn't he wearing a shirt? I mean, that dude doesn't even look Russian. It's even Drago. He's fine. Suddenly you hear a voice. He's pretty sexy for the top half of a human. Ah, oh, you've got to warn me before you do that. Sorry, I just got you a drink. Here. She hands you a mug full to the brim with a clear liquid. It's vodka, of course. Ice water? That what might wake me up. You take a sip. Oh, it's not water, silly. It's potato vodka. They make it right here in town. Ugh! God, that's another thing you need to warn me about first. So we're totally dating Sherman next, right? I mean, we can. This is way too much vodka anyway. They give me a bulk discount. I'm a bit of a legend here in town. Ha, huh. so what should we do now? We can snuggle up next to the monument. Uh, anything a little bit less forward? Well, there are some pretty cool posters and things here. Let's go. Uh, all right, if you want to. I'm happy to do anything, as long as it's with you. It's got roofies in it, isn't it? The, the vodka we just drank. We're fucked. That's sweet, IS2. I wouldn't want you running off with some other lighter, faster tank now. Uh, wouldn't dream of it. Oh, man, I, well, I don't have any regrets for these choices we have made today. The two of you stroll, tanks can stroll, along the path. <coughs> oh, God, my voice is going out. You ooh and ah the various statues and monuments before reaching the center memorial. Ooh. Oh, man, this looks so surreal. Hey, Erdogan, you're really nursing that drink. Hey, I'm working on it, or this is way too much. Oh, hey, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Here, let me. She takes the mug and without blinking, tosses back the contents. She eyes you for a long moment before swallowing. <laughs> Five a dollar. See? Now you have free hand to hold mine. I'm impressed. As you should be. I'm awesome. I'm the best. So now what? Well... 
What are you feeling, sailor? Oh my god, she's drunk. She drank her own roofies. Well, you don't do that. It's rule number 52. Sailor? Get it? You <laughs> drive tanks, but I called you a sailor. I got it. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Uh-oh, did I get her drunk? Did I ruin the date because she's drunk? Absolutely. IS2 engines runs on on, vo on what? what Chicken <laughs> wags! Ebchi punk. Pamunk. Ebby chipmunk. Ebby chipmunk. Ebby's chipmunks. Thank you so much for subbing for the first time ever with Twitch Prime. Love you lots. Alright, we should get you home. Why? I'm fine. Really, I'm good. You're really handsome, you know that? Like, really handsome. Putin level handsome. Pardon me? <laughs> I'm gonna go jump off a cliff. I'll s no. My life is over. Rule 64 on what never to say to anyone. Putin level handsome. What the shit? All right, how about we take the next train out? As long as it's uh, your train. My God. Holy shit. <laughs> Putin is amazing and often shirtless. I can't say that's the best date I've ever been on, but it could have gone worse. Guess I'll see them at school on Monday. I'll hit the hay for now. Did I do wrong? Like, I feel like if I said I couldn't finish it, she would have drank it anyway. Did I do the wrong thing? I hope not. Oh my god, we're gonna be sung home over for school. You sit at your desk eating lunch. Man, I wish I was eating lunch now. Lord. I'm hungry. Ah, uh, you know, for how weird this place is, a guy could get used to it. And hell, this bento thing isn't a half bad idea. Suddenly, Panzer bursts into the room. Arwen! Why are you just sitting in here alone for lunch? What? That's. I mean, I'm just trying to eat. Erwin, you should try to be more social like me, she giggles. Well, what would you have me do? I just want to eat my lunch. Erwin, it's Japan. Join a club. I'm fine, really. I don't do club. Don't be a spoil sport. Come on. She grabs Run you by the, the arm and begins marching you towards the door. Beth, Blay, thank you so much for the $5. Darling, enjoy those janky gems. Hi, Luke. I've been watching your streams for a while. Love them so much. Here's a little something to show my love. Darling, thank you. I love you. Where are we going? The all club meeting, silly. It's Monday. Get ready for every other tank in the business. Poor Erwin, couldn't even eat his lunch. There's like seven students. Wait, we're gonna meet them all now. Panzer IV pulls you into the room beside her, and a variety of students are already sitting around waiting for the meeting to start. If this seems racist to anyone, I'm sorry, but they make many racist connotations here. Also, my accents are gonna be horrible. So just wait for that. I am fucked if I is too, excuse me, holy shit. Bye, Relic! So I am late, everyone. This here is Erwin, and he's joining club today. Wait, no, I... Suddenly a taller girl grabs you from behind. Pardon me? Here it comes. Ooh, so you're the Erwin Panzer IV is always talking about? What? You pry her off your shoulders and turn around to face her. Oh, hey, girl! Oh, look, Panzer IV, he's blushing. Cut it out, mouse! It's the little Panzer IV shy. No, it's I... You both know I'm right here. It's Big Ronda. <laughs> it's the mouse! Oh man, it's actually called the Panzer VIII. Super heavy tank made in 1944. Super huge. Big ass ammo racks. Oh, T-34 is here. Oh, and I didn't know you were joining a club. I'm not. Well, hey, everyone's joining the club. Come on, tankery, tankery. We don't have tankery team anymore, Sherman. Or did you forget? We're blacklisted. That's the Char B-1. She's French. In case you couldn't tell from her lovely beret, the Char B-1 was a French heavy tank self-propelled gun. It was kind of like a gun slash tank. It came out in the late 1930s. She's beautiful. So who wants to fuck a tank? Ammunition for days. Yeah, Chubby one is nice. Obviously the French is on the same team as the Americans. If you know anything about World War II, that will make sense to you. 
Oh, come on, Frenchie. No one said I had to stay on the aircraft carrier. That's not the point. Everyone pipe down. We have business to discuss. Okay. Before you get mad, the Chinu is a medium tank of Imperial Japan. It never saw combat. It was only retained for defense of Japanese homeland in case of an allied invasion. So of course she's like the bookish secretary not seeing combat tank. She is cute. I like her. The tanks all reply, I, Vice President, and take their places around the room, grouping up by club. So racist. Hero. Well, I mean, how else can I give her a Japanese accent? All right, now that everyone is here, let's get this thing started. As I'm sure you all know, this weekend is a school-wide hot springs trip. Unfortunately, though, with the damage caused by errant HE shell to Classroom 3B by Sherman, our cross treasury is 3,000 yen in the red. You're telling me those repairs cost almost $3,000? You're the one to talk Sherman. Maybe try watching Very Shoot sometime. Hey, it's not my fault the ammo is faulty. Maybe your commie buddy China could get that quality control in check. Whoa! Holy shit! Shots fired. Hero Priest. It's not that bad. I'm not doing a total hero voice. Don't try and turn this around on me, Sherman. Bring in all the facts. I got the facts. I don't have the accents, though. Come on, both of you. The VP is trying to talk. <clears throat> As I was saying, I'm really sorry, but the trip will have to be cancelled. Wah! Cancelled! That's not fair, ma chère. Look, this wasn't up to me. Hey, I... Yeah, I wanted to go on the trip. Sherman! I have a... Ladies, I have an idea. <laughs> Shitty walk, can I take your order? God damn it, you guys, that's China, not Japan. <laughs> I, I have an idea? I'm not being racist. These are, I don't know how to do this otherwise. What am I gonna do? Just give her a regular voice. Uh, go ahead, she coughs. Well, what if all the clubs do something to raise the money before this weekend? Hmm, that, well, that just might work. I'd have to get the president's approval, but yeah, this could save the trip. What sort of thing could raise three thousand dollars in one week? Ah, uh, I never thought that far ahead. It doesn't have to be one thing. Each club just needs to raise their part. Mm, let me think. I'll ask the president to let student council do donation drive. School newspaper, why don't you make some special print run? Duh. Pravda can do that. The newspaper club agrees before exiting. Okay, so the Russians are the newspaper club. Light music club, you can all hold concert. Hi, hi, we'll make you proud, VP Senpai. The light music club all echoes before leaving the room. That's Polish 70p! A 7 ton Polish light tank of World War II, I don't know much about it. However, they really give her the shit in this game. Holy crap, the poor Polish. Ooh, ooh, what can the Occult Studies Club do? Of course the Germans are into the occult. Oh, dude, I don't know. Just no spooky stuff this time, please. All right, come on, team. Let's go get the little garb. The German tanks all shuffle out of the room. Wait, I just said... Oh, someone go make sure they don't try and kill anything. Hey, you forgot the tankery team. I like to polish that tank, lol. I remembered to forget. No fair, we're helping too. Fine, fine, just go make yourselves useful. On it, she shouts as the tanker team all runs out of the room. You waiting for Bob Semple? <laughs> Hopefully we'll see her. Uh, what do I do? Oh, Erwin, I'm sorry, I almost forgot you were here. Uh, thanks. Why don't you try help out some of the crubs this week? I'm sure they could use it. Yeah, sure, I'll see what I can do. Now here's the thing, is IS-2 gonna be in the Russian group? I'm assuming she is, right? So that's gonna be the one we pick? Cause we didn't see her. Tobias, thank you for the host. Ah, I should probably help out one of the clubs before I go home. Samuel, it's simple. T-34 is probably swamped with the newspaper, but God knows what Sherman has gotten up to. Who do I help first? Is IS-2 counted in this? She'll be there? 
Does anyone know for sure? Because if she won't be in the newspaper club, then I have to pick Tankery to, like, spread out the love between the girls because we haven't done anything with Sherman yet. You picked the newspaper club and the LP and she wasn't there. That's right, I did. Did I? I thought the occult club was what I picked because of Panzer. Well, of course, she's. all the tanks are grouped together with their own kind in this game. Save, then pick. On it. Tankery? We could do. She's not there. Go with Tank. Alright, Tankery, then we don't we haven't seen this one. I did pick newspaper? I think you're right, I did. IS2 is nowhere. IS2 is everywhere. There is no newspaper club. There's only the new up paper. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even notice this typo. <laughs> Holy shit. You did meet that other Russian girl in the newspaper club. Who did I meet there? You mean Mouse? Uh, not Mouse, she's German. Who did I meet other than that? Oh, right, and then we went to see the occult club after the newspaper. Okay. Right. IS2 is in the club, but does it count? Shit. Knew a paper. <laughs> Alright, let's. I don't remember. She, I mean, she won't be in Tankery for sure. Knew a paper. <laughs> what should we do? It was another Russian tank, a big one. Oh, the. Oh, I know who you're talking about. The ISU 152. So who are we picking? We probably won't see her unless we pick this. Save and check. I did save, didn't I? I'll do it again. Uh, it did save, right? Yeah, who do I help first? Okay, we're fine. Uh, all right. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue is the thing. I think I did pick newspaper last time. You meet the commander of the Russians, right? It's the ISU 152. All right, let's go see. And we'll do tankery after as well. Maybe I should have done tankery first. I'm sure it can't have gone too bad yet. I mean, at least they have T-34. She's usually pretty level-headed. It's hard to decide. I want to see all the girls. You enter the school newspaper club room and immediately are hit by the droning sound of printing presses chugging away. All throughout the room, tanks are running every which way. Near the window, T-34 is standing next to a taller girl who's pacing back and forth rapidly. Comrade Commissar, the numbers are back for last month's circulation. There she is. Da, how do they look? Hello. <laughs> the ISU-152 is a, a tank, but not a tank. It's like a self-armored assault gun vehicle thing. Kind of. <laughs> well, now we can see her. Unfortunately, they're down again. Blet, the Politburo will have our heads for this. Bitch, well, how many? Give me the numbers. In total, we distributed three copies. That's including one for the teacher's lounge and one for our waiting room. God damn it, you guys. It's a TD, yeah, that's what I thought. Comrade, pass me my Tokarev. I'll save everyone the trouble. <laughs> Suddenly, another tank rushes into the room. She strains to speak, but is short on breath. Uh-oh. French, she's invading. So god blue. Futu. Futu, you all. Ruined it. Ruined what, comrade? My... My story. Nobody ruined everything, we just did some fact-checking. Fact-checking? How is this fact-checking? She slammed a copy of the newspaper on the desk. ISU 152 picks it up and scans down the page quickly. Fire the missiles! <laughs> I don't see any errors. The other girl snatches the paper quickly back and points at the first headline. Ahem! Heroic defender of the motherland holds off entire German armored division with only bayonet and flag. And here, cite the magazine poll, Putin voted best religious leader of last 3,000 years? What is that? And, and, 136% of Crimeans agree Ukraine a failed state, secession is answer. Duh, I made them up myself. Exactly, you can't just point things you made up. Duh, why not? Because it's not true. Why let the facts get in the way of a good story? 
Duh, I must agree with smaller Russian tank. Paper is called Pravda. It means truth, whatever we print, officially sanctioned party line. Sacre bleu, you are all insufferable. Uh, um. They all turn to look at you. Um, I don't mean to barge in, but I was wondering if you needed help with the paper. Ugh, help? Soviet motherland need no help from American capital. Comrade, we sold three copies last month. I believe we can use all the help we can get. Ah, nobody is listening. We're not going to sell single paper. A few Russian tanks keep making up whatever suits you. I hate to agree with the French on something, but she's right. You can't just make things up and call it fact. Yet, it's not making things up. Only reinterpreting the truth. Either way, maybe try doing something besides historical pieces for this issue. Blech. What is there to write about except good days? Do an interview, an op-ed, anything beside history. Mm, duh, I like. T-34, get him camera and party member card. Uh, I'll just go with camera for now. Just follow me, Owen. I do the lighting and you take the picture. Sure, right. Um, should we keep going with this? Like, this is long. We don't even know what tanker he's going with this. You and Char B1 leave the newspaper club room and head into the hallway. They're just... Just impossible, you know. She pouts. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, there's certainly a handful. I'm glad you understand. Anyway, I don't think I fully introduced myself yet. I'm Char de Batier 1 from Bologna, France. Chair de Battle Bologna? What? Erwin, you idiot. Ah, you Americans butcher our beautiful language with your English tongues. Hey, at least we pronounce the letters we put in our words. Lol. Sakla Blue, I'll let that one go for now, though. Let's get this assignment done first, and then we can discuss your uncivilized language further. It's a date, you wink. I shall hold you to it, American. She smiles back. Anyway, we should probably find someone to do a story on. Do you have any ideas? Ah, oh, damn, I'm not sure. <laughs> also French people. Ah, that's it. What? I shall interview the Marcel de Logichef. The gunny. Please don't say you mean the gunny. But of course. We shall interview him today. Let's go. God, no. Oh, fine. Let's get it over with. Jaden Laria, thank you so much. Ten bits for shots fired. The bits. You and Charby one head stroll down the hallway towards the classroom. I wonder what the tanker is. Well, what are we missing? <laughs> You knock on the door lightly and step inside. Hello? Are you here? Uh, sir, I was wondering if I could- God damn it, recruit, I will- Mon sergeant. Oh, mon shabby one. Comment allez-vous à d'aujourd'hui? Oh, uh, my French is really bad. Est-ce pour de l'aimer de vous, donne de nuit? Wait, what the fuck? Recruit, do not swear in front of a lady! But, but, what, how are you speaking French? For the love of- Recruit, don't you know the first thing about romance? Ew! Don't touch her. Chavi one giggles to herself. No, no, massage. We- uh, I- God, can we just get an interview for the paper? You want to put me in the paper? Uh, we. Oui. Well, I'll be- uh, Darned. If you want my mug in the paper, well, why not? When is it going to print? Uh, this week, I think. Well, I just might have to pick myself up a copy. Mon sergeant, could you answer a few questions for me? Go ahead. He was swearing, wasn't he? That's what I thought. All right, where to start? Could I get your full name and rank? Gunnery Sergeant Major Arlie Hartsman. Gun <laughs> IS-2 pops out of Gunny's skin. Oh, my God. What sort of rank is Gunnery Sergeant Major? For the love of... <sighs> Recruit, haven't you heard of a first name? What sort of first name is Major? And what was your job in the military before you became a drill instructor? I was a 6969 space shuttle door gunner. Mm-hmm. Sure. With that sort of a job, why did you become a drill sergeant? Well, you see, recruit for some Marines, the amount of fuck uh, and forced sodomy that the military does to us takes its toll in a different way. Instead of retiring, the anger wells up inside of us to the point where we forget where we come from. We wish for nothing more than to spread this malice and hate to the next generation of boots. And so a drill instructor is born. Uh, right, Sergeant. And what's your biggest pet peeve? 
when boots put up their god darn hands in their darn pockets. Why does it matter if our hands are in our pockets? Recruit, do you know why Hitler lost the war? Because the Russians were able to outproduce the German industrial capacity? <laughs> no, recruit. Because he left his ass put their hands in their pockets. What? I don't think that's the thing. Do you think we can just take your photo and get going? Click goes the camera. All right, let's get going, Shaw. Ah, uh, au revoir, Sergeant. She leaves the room. Why do they all like him? I don't understand. You start to leave too. Recruit! Yes, Sergeant? If you ever want to get inside of a tank, it would behoove you to unfuck yourself! Wanted to get that out for a while, Sergeant? Yes, Recruit. Yes, I did. Good God. The rest of the day goes by quickly and you drift fast asleep that night. Should we have done tankery? Should we go back? What should we do? Help. Should we do it in the next one? I don't even know what to do. Should we do tankery? He's a drill sergeant. Lol. Do you guys want to see the tankery route? I mean, I've never seen it. So we could do it. <laughs> he unfucked himself to get inside a tank. You need to unfuck yourself. Go back. Okay. All right, let's do it. I should probably stop Sherman from getting anyone killed. True. I guess I'll check up on the Tankery Club first. I don't think this part really matters. I think you can probably pick anything. Erwin, thanks for helping out. I was happy to, Sherman. Yeah, we've really been needing someone to be wreck- And you're so small, they won't ever see you coming. What? <gasps> Bob! It's Bob! You're exactly what we need to win this year. Tankery World Champions! The Bob Simple is the cutest thing ever. It's a New Zealand tractor. It's a tractor. Outfitted with guns built during war hysteria times because New Zealand didn't have its own, like, war arsenal. Ta-da. It's the other Bob meeting this Bob. They literally strapped giant ass fucking automatic weapons to tractors. Of which they had many. Hoi, Bob! Bob Simple Best Tank! I thought your team was blacklisted. Well, that's Sherman's fault. She brought a snorkel to the field and refused to come up until the enemy team ran out of fuel, actually. It was one of the smartest things Sherman's ever done. Chicken wings! That's right! Oh my gosh, Super Mike Man 100, thank you for subbing for 32 months in a row. Thank you so much. But maybe we can get them to lift our band and win this year's prize money. I'm gonna have to say no to the whole Chicken tankery wings. thing. Pizza 15X, thank you for something for two months in a row. But you guys did seem like you needed help coming up with good ideas for fundraising. New Zealand did end up using Shermans, that's right. Eventually they did, but the but the bobs were there. <sighs> Besides Tankery, I don't know what else we could do. Well, can anyone bake? They don't call me Tommy Cooker for nothing. What? That's really dark. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh, I know! We could paint me all pretty, do pin-up! I'm gonna have to veto that one. Come on, it'll be Bob and Sherman Calendar. We'll make tons of money. On second thought... Hey, no fair! Fine, Sherman and Bob. Oh my god, I'd like to see this. Uh, Bob, can I ask you something really quick? Only if you can catch me, haha! <laughs> what, what, did she just run away? What the fuck just happened? ta -da, did someone say Bob? See Reagan, thank you so much. As Bob starts to run, a demonic screech fills the room, followed by a hard grinding of gears as she falls over. It sounds like a gravel pit trying to run a 5k. No, Bob, you're only a tractor. You get back here. Panzer IV peeks her head in from the hall. Feidler, Schweigen, the foreign von der Konklen Kraft in der Sorry, she rubs her head as she stands back up. What the hell was that noise? Oh, well, I tried to change gears while moving, it's tricky. Good job, New Zealand. <laughs> My Aussie accent is bad. Well, that's because I'm not Australian, actually. Sorry, and it's not Aussie, it's New Zealand. It's different a little. At least they'll tell you what it is. To me, it sounds exactly the same. Haha, <laughs> hey, Erwin, watch the master. Sherman is significantly more graceful than Bob as she dashes out the door. Woo! Fourth gear! She shouts in the hallway. I don't even think 
tractors have fourth gear. Well, I guess you caught me. What was the question? You'll have to forgive me, but when I heard your name was Bob. It is! Right, but you know, most people would assume... Oh, yeah, sorry, but I don't like the way baseball hats make my treads look. What? Yeah, most people think Bob is baseball person name. Sorry to disappoint. That's not what I was going to ask. <laughs> oh? Oh, Ed Chipmunk, thank you so much. This is why New Zealand is only known for recording the Power Rangers. And the tribe. I watched that like crazy when I was young. <laughs> it's just... Well, I kind of thought you were going to be... You know, a dude. Oh, I'm sorry? It's fine, just why Bob? Oh, well, that's easy. So, after the First World War, New Zealand decided that they wanted a tank design of their own. Right. So they slapped some sheet metal on a tractor and called it Bob. Uh, the end. I'm back. What was my time? Uh, 43? Yes, new record. World champ, USA, USA, USA. What are you going on about? We need to come up with something to save this trip. Well, let's put our heads together and think. What if, what if we started a farm? Bob, I know you're a tractor and all, but we need to make the money by the end of this week. So, what are we gonna do? I really, really want to go to the hot springs. Don't worry about it, I've got a plan. And that is? It's simple. We steal the declaration of... Stop right there. That plan is stupid. What? Why? You didn't let me finish. Because it's a stupid plan. Come on, how would you know that? Call it intuition. Well, I'm out of ideas. What? This is crazy. What if we make a movie? I think we should go with that calendar idea you two would have. I bet the Gunny would buy one. I bet he'd buy them all. What would it be about? Um. Hmm. Don't worry. I already got it planned out. Okay, shoot. Alright, so we open our typical school classroom. The students are all looking at the teacher attentively. So far this would be cheap. We could just use the school itself. Yeah, sorry, it's hard with these two different accents side by side. It's very difficult. The teacher looks up sadly and says, We don't have enough money to go to the hot springs this week. End scene. That's not a movie. That's not even a scene. It's one line. Eh, hey, come on. I'm from New Zealand. I can't get at least three full-length features out of the premise alone. Lol. <laughs> Just throw in some panoramic mountain views. How about an expansive documentary on the evolution of the leaf spring suspension system? Yeah, sex calendar, please. That phrase alone almost put me to sleep. Well, fine, Mr. Grumpy Grumps. Do you have a better idea? Uh, we could... Oh, we could do a car wash. Like one of those sexy car washes, you know, with the girls in their swimsuits. Now we're talking. That's not half bad. We could use the school's parking lot and supplies to set up. So it's almost all profit. Why would the school have car washing supplies? Because the tanks need to be washed. Have you ever tried to get three months worth of mud out of a tank? Fair enough. We'll have to ask Gunny if he approves, but otherwise I like that plan. Oh, sorry, that was M4, sorry. So, if we're doing a sexy car wash, does Owen own a sexy swimsuit? Uh, Of course he does! I, though, he probably should be the guy who takes the money, target audience and whatnot. Hey, I'm plenty sexy. Uh, no comment. Ow. No comment. Oh shit! Wrecked! Fucking wrecked! Well thanks guys- I guess two things I'm sexy, I'm getting out of here. You had to do a presentation on evolution of leaf spring suspension? No you did, did you really? Anyway, let's go ask Gunny. Jesus, these girls are harsh. Permission to speak, Sergeant. Reluctantly granted recruit, what are you here to bother me about now on this fine afternoon? This recruit, along with recruits Sherman and Semple, have an idea for the Hot Springs fundraising. Splendid, maggot. Stop wasting time and go do it. The idea requires the use of the parking lot, sir, and several buckets of water, soap, and towels. What in the blazes are you suggesting, recruit? The Tankery Club car wash, sergeant. A car wash. Yes, drill sergeant. Uh. What well, up? Uh, hello? Well, slap my ass and call me Susie. That's the best goddamn idea since canned bread. Since aerosol bacon, you recruits have the permission in my endorsement. I have only one requirement. What the fuck is aerosol bacon? 
course, Drill Sergeant. You are not to be washing the cars in your skivvies. It's unprofessional, recruit. You are dismissed, recruit. Aye, Sarge. Aw, oh, damn it, no bathing suit? Well, that's poop. All right, we're clear to do the car wash. How about we start at 0900 tomorrow morning? Sounds fine to me. Me too, she grins. All right, I'll see you two tomorrow. Aerosol bacon. Good look. Hello, Andrea. The next morning. We have to actually stop soon. It's been three hours. I can only go three hours today. I've got stuff to do. Oh no, but the car wash. I wonder how long it's gonna take. <gasps> oh, never mind. Let's stay right here. Nice. This is such a great idea. What you think of my outfit? It's nice, girl. You look great. You look really, really great, Sherman. Thanks, don't be peeking under my turret right now. Hot right. Where's little Bobby? I want to see Bobby in a suit. Bobby didn't wear one. What the hell, girl? Oh, hey guys, I'm starting my shift as a washer. Bob, where's your bathing suit? I tried to find one, I swear. What? No, I wanted to see cutie Bob in a bathing suit. Oh, I'm sad now. But nobody makes amphibious assault attachments for tractors. Oh dear. Right. I'm so excited. I wonder who our first customer will be. Me too. We have a chance at the hot springs if this does okay. Good morning, recruits! Shit. Morning, drill sergeant. Morning, senpai. Hey, yo, Sarge. So how much for a body job? Ten dollars. Did I ask you a recruit? So how much, Sherman? Ten dollars, senpai. Oh my god, is she gonna wash him? Is she gonna wash him? Oh my fucking god, you guys called it Sarge's first customer. Ma, that's quite reasonable. Here, fresh 20, keep the change. I'll make you look popular. Hi, hi. The girls get to work washing the gunny's car. Uh-huh, his car. The sergeant sits watching, even cracking a smile when Sherman and Bob Semple lean over <laughs> the windshield to clean the roof of the car. I wasn't aware the man's face was capable of any expression other than exasperated rage. The girls finish up washing the sergeant's car. Never before has my vehicle been cleaned so well. Good luck with the rest of your day. Thank you, ladies and maggot. With a screech of tires and the stench of burning rubber, the gunny speeds off. Wow, that was nice of him. The gunny is a man of specific taste. Oops, that was the wrong accent, but deal with it. Everyone, we were doing so well already. Well, we shouldn't get our hopes up. Whatever, worry war. I'm having fun. He's just mad because he has to sit there while we all get wet. No, I... Next customer, Desu. What? Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> well, how is it to be going? Mine auto is very dirty. Would you clean it for me, Ja? Oh my god. There it is. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Um, of course, sir. It's ten dollars. Don't you su uh, surprise surprise me with such a deal? Right. A uh, pleasure, Mr. Feldwebel. <laughs> Good God. Pull on in, Mr. Feldwebel. Uh, guys, do you know that the what? I know nothing. <laughs> he guns the engine, and the car leaps forward out of the parking lot. The he left. Wait, you forgot your change! How much did he give you? Let me say, one, two, five, five hundred! What? Five hundred dollars? Ew, look, another customer! Back to work, I guess. Oh, god damn it, I thought it was gonna be him. Oh man, I want to see another outfit. The rest of the day goes by quickly and you drift fast asleep that night. <laughs> this is so silly. Well, at least I don't have any clubs to deal with today. Oh no, I think we're gonna have to stop, you guys. I have to stop streaming. I have stuff I have to do. I have an appointment. Um, It's okay because we still have a lot to do because I think what's left is all of the, the vacation part. And then after that, so it is quite long-ish. Yeah, Feldwebel is German for Sergeant. I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, Is there anyone streaming right now that we know? Let me see. 
who is live? Is it okay? I'm so sorry. I, I'm sorry. But the hot springs will be next, so we'll, we'll definitely do that soon. Uh, let's see. Tom? Is Tom streaming right now? Alright, hang on. Let's take a look. Da 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 da. Do do do. We have so many good things we could raid with. That's the problem. What was the long thing that IS2 said? We should, we should totally raid with that. He's offline right now, Tom is. Oh, he's hosting me. I can't raid myself. Oh, he starts soon. Oh. He's offline right now, Tom is. Oh, he's hosting me. I can't raid myself. God damn it, now I hear myself. Oh, he starts soon. Do not oh. be of the worry. Good lord. All right. Oh. He's offline right now, Thomas. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to start, sell, we're going to self pre-start raid him. Does that make sense? Everyone... Get your asses into Tom's stream, but don't actually do the raid until he starts streaming. Does that make sense? And right as he's opening, you're going to do this. I mean, he knows it because he's already seen it, but whatever. Just, just, just do it. We're going to pre-raid, pre-stream. Just go in there now. Don't do the tag yet. And I'll meet you there. And we'll all do it together, okay? All right, we can do this. We, we've got this. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Uh, thank you all to everyone that followed and subbed and all the generous donations. I love you guys so, so much. Let's go watch Tom for a while. It's going to be a fun time. All right, and pretend you don't know anything. And don't say anything in chat. Even though he's watching this, and I'm sure he knows. Ta-da, Eb Chipmunk. Thank you so much. Indeed needed to see Bob. Bob is there, and Bob says goodbye to you all. I love you guys. I'll see you in Whoa, I'll see you in Tom's stream. Bye-bye. Will Luca Jin ever decide to wear pants? Tune in next time.